Before we get this show on the road, I would like to thank SharpDev for getting me on his podcast on Tuesday. The whole video will be up on his YouTube channel from 6 o'clock on Friday. out the first park tunnel. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to my walk from Saturday where I went to Green at Morton versus Aloe Athletic. I found it quite a calm game before the storm on Sunday because literally since Sunday everything's just propelled out of the water. But anyway, I hope you enjoy what I see as a neutral game and it's a game where I just want to see some good football and just want to enjoy the day out. Also, I want to thank everyone for the support on the last video. We got so far like 8,000 views and like well over 300 likes on the video. And we've gone up like a good like 200 subscribers since the weekend. So I really appreciate everything and I'm overwhelmed by some of the support I've received from that video. And yeah, I'll see you in the post-match analysis. Enjoy. So, as it was a completely packed train, the way to Edinburgh, because Scotland are playing rugby, I think. Something strange like that. Anyway, off to Greenock today. See Greenock Morton play Al Athletic. Hopefully it's going to be the game. Both against Knight. Like my train right there. So we're now on the train to Cartstake, is where we're getting off uh, for Capolo. First time I've been there. Is this your first time either as well? Yeah. yeah. I missed the Wood Cup game, thankfully. Aye, me too. That was one of five games this I missed that season. Ian Barraclough's last this game. Fun to hear this one. Aye. But aye, aye. Let's get cracking. And won the Capo. Here we are at Capo. Do you imagine? I don't know These guys are more high tech than Motherwell. Here we are at Capo. Got my Iron Brew. It's actually reminiscent of the old Full Sugar Iron Brew. Say bye. It's a banging looking programme and the ticket looks superb. Looking at both sides of this programme, there are a few names that do come to mind. Greg Spence plays for Alloa. Uh, Stephen Hetherington was at Motherwell. Uh, we've also got Jake Hasty. Whereas on the Morton side, Kerr Waddle. I've had a couple of drinks with him at the Dundee Player of the Year. Uh, well, not directly. There's Big Bad Bob McHugh. Yeah, Ross McLean as well. Aye. We were at a couple, was it two seasons ago we were at Ray 3 Falkirk? Aye. And Falkirk won 4 1 and we had a good chat with Bob McHugh after the year. Shags the Buds and all. I hope he backed it up. I'd like to see him score today. I'd also like to see Jake Hasty play well because he, of course, will be playing for the Motherwell Colts next week against Ross County. And I want to see Ross McLean score as well today. So. Good for both teams in a way, but I just want to see a cracking game. They've got really good tunes here as well, and the pie was excellent. Uh, my prediction, go ahead. 3-1 Morton. What are you saying, Adam? 3-2-0 Morton. Fair enough. Morton, 2-0. Hey, Morton, Morton is shagger. <laughs> Always amusing to see a club's mascot for the first time. What's up? Oh no, aye. Get that right off. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not be them, nor the years to the dead. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them.
Good clearance. No, you can't see the ball because of the massive pull, but. Oh! Keeper. Oofed. Another corner. That was, that was a very poor corner. It's like he couldn't get it off the ground. Oh, there's been a collision. Goal not given. Found the keeper and right for the him. Ah, uh, that's annoying. The ball sort of like screwed my view. But yeah, I saw the collision between the Morton boy and the keeper and just the decision. Well that's a better ball. Oh, good save. Oh good save keeper. Time nil nil at Capolo. It's been a pretty poor game. Yeah, not gonna lie, it's been quite scrappy. There's not been, not been many shots at either goal. I think both keepers have only had like one shot to save. Uh, but uh, I'm enjoying that. I've got to say I'm enjoying it. I'm about to dig into my second pie because the pies are so good. Oh, they're so good. And of course another iron boot. But I uh, hopefully there's gonna be a couple of goals in the second half. And yeah, bring it on. Second half kicking off in a moment. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Second bite of cherry. No. Nope. Oh, aye. Oh. Decent football. Oh, corner. Will this game have a go in it? <laughs> go on, Chucky. Oh, no one's. Never get a penalty from that. Who loved it for a It should have, yeah. That is a sad. Big space is just missed that. Should I say that in Friends on Facebook? <laughs> Probably not after that. That was oh just poor. The boy put it on a plate for him. He's literally on the line. He's headed at right. It's a penalty to Alwa. Yep. Interesting. Watch this magic trick as the ball soon will appear from behind the pole. It's another penalty foul. Waiting from one penalty engine to another. Uh, Looks like they're making the next train home. There's Jake Casey running. Oh, was running. I think it's just as well he got fouled there. He wouldn't have been caught. There's been no urgency whatsoever. So in total the game I thought it was a bit bland but the controversy of two penalties for Alwa Athletic was quite interesting and I think it lit the game up. Uh, Morton didn't have much on show. 
Neither did I want to be honest, but I look at the two penalties and that was the difference in the game. Because I thought a draw might have been a fair result because neither team really threatened. Until Jake Hasty came on and he won the first penalty, I'm pretty sure, for Alwa. And then Alwa got the second penalty and as I said, that was the difference. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's taken so long to upload, but since I uploaded my video on Monday, I've just basically decided, right, I'll let that video take all the attention because I want to just move on with my life because, of course, yeah, Mother will get beat 7-1, so what? Moving on, and also, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I basically used that as recovery period and I just wanted to hang out with my pals because YouTube pretty much is my life. Uh, when I'm out of college, out of work. So I just wanted to just enjoy myself and I think I've done that. Anyway guys, there will be hopefully another video up maybe Saturday or Sunday and on Saturday I'm going to Motherwell Colts versus Ross County. Hopefully that's going to be a good game and yeah, I'll see you later guys. Take care.